iPhone 2560 of Laravel 9 series in which we are connecting the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will continue working on the integration process of PayPal in Laravel 9. And we have used the Omni Pay package uh, for making the payment. And in the last video, we have seen that we are able to make the transaction. And here, the PayPal is successful, is coming after making the payment. And we are able to add the transaction in the payments table as well, success transaction in the payments table as well. But we are also required to update the orders table. If you can see that we have the orders table as well, that we are required to update with the order status like paid or payment captured. Okay so also we will update in admin panel and also we are going to send the order email and order sms so we are going to create the success th uh, that thanks paid like success page we are going to create uh, so that uh, we can show the better view to the users okay not like this so those things we are going to do so first of all i am going to close all earlier files and uh, we'll open the thanks page thanks.blade.php and I'm going to create the similar page like success page. I'm going to save this page as the success page as well that comes after making the payment. Okay. So I'm going to uh, add its page like success page. Okay. And here, uh, then like this page will also come uh, after making the payment. So uh, we are going to make it uh, your payment. Here we're going to make your payment has been confirmed. Okay. to make it like this your payment has been confirmed okay and also we are going to write here uh, uh, thanks for the payment we will process your order very soon okay so your order number is this much and total and grand total is this much okay total uh, see total amount paid we will write it like not grand total oh, uh, total amount paid is INR this much okay so our thanks page is ready uh, sorry success so page is ready okay uh, so after this like uh, thanks page or success page uh, we need to forget some of the session here okay like in the thanks page as well okay and in the success page as well i'm going to check it's in the press controller as well and also we are going to add uh, the success function as well similar to the thanks like we have the thanks function and here we are uh, we can see that we are empty the card after that this one and one more thing we need to do here like in both the cases we need to uh, make few things empty okay so that is necessary as well uh, like we are going to empty the sessions some of the major sessions here and session forget we are required to forget grand total that is not required after making the payment because this page will never come these four sessions we are required to aspire order ID okay and coupon code code as well as the coupon amount okay so we are using this four session that we are required to uh, forget after making the uh, after showing this page to the user okay like this okay and we are going to update the success function uh, here uh, we are going to in payment con paypal controller here see after making the payment when the user comes up here and his pay is, uh, payment is confirmed so after saving uh, in payments table see this one we are not going to redirect it directly like we are not going to show the uh, success message like this uh, instead of this uh, we are going to redirect the user to the success page okay so that thing we are going to do and but before that uh, we are going to send the order sms and order email to the user as well okay so here uh, like first thing uh, we are going to get the order id from the session uh, or we can do one thing here we can open here like after uh, see these are the things uh, see uh, send order email send order sms okay and order id so 
here we are going to like uh, process the order or update the order okay uh, update the order or whatever you want to write okay here order id i'm going to add it in order id from this section that we are going to use session get session get order id like this and update order status to paid or payment capture whatever you like okay so i'm going to paid okay order where id dollar order id we are going to update the status here update order status to pay okay so after this we are going to send order sms as well here send order sms and we are going to send the order sms in the same way uh, like we used to send uh, in the uh, in the case of uh, uh, cod order okay so here uh, we will send the message dear customer your order id this one uh, has been successfully placed with this one. we will intimate you once your order is shipped okay after the after making the payment okay so mobile we will get from the auth and send sms we are going to send this one okay so this one we are going to command this one because it will not go we don't have the sms package otherwise once you have the sms package you can simply send this message okay so we will comment it for now go to command this message for now okay and after this i'm going to send the order email as well okay so uh to this we are going to send the order email in the same way like we are sending here after uh, in the case of cod in the same way we are going to send uh, in the case of paypal as well after making the payment okay email we will get from the auth basic data email is already there name also we will get from the auth order id we are getting from here okay order details order details we are going to fetch the order details here okay order details we don't have so that we are going to fetch here okay order details uh, is required so uh, see here we have order details as well so we're going to use these order details here like this uh, fine uh, we able to fetch this one and uh, from this we able to send the email we are going to test this email as well okay order placed at 12 14 it seems to be fine the rest of these things seems to be fine so after this one we are going to empty the card like we used to empty the card uh, here in the case of thanks uh, function uh, in case of cod here we are going to empty as well after sending the email we are going to empty the card as well okay like this and finally we will uh, return uh, redirect the user uh, to the success or uh, we can simply use it like this return view okay so we are going to uh, use it here success right return view front products and here we are going to add the uh, success uh, success is uh, we are having inside the products that's fine okay so this one like this front products uh, otherwise what we can do we can add this success blade file inside the paypal that will be really great if we have inside the resources views uh, front inside the paypal okay so here what we are going to do we will add the paypal here and here i'm going to close this file success file i'm going to close and what i'm going to do here i'm going to shift uh, it from here to the paypal because it's the part of the paypal so that's why okay so now it seems to be fine though we can use this success file overall as well okay for the other prepaid methods as well okay but right now we can move it to here in inside the paypal later on we can also move it again back to the products whenever required okay uh, 
so right now we have moved it to the paper okay so other than this uh, we can also create the fail page like we have created the success page we can also create the fail page as well uh, so for that like uh, I can simply copy and paste here and we'll uh, see uh, make it like fail.blade.php in case the payment fail we will send the user to the fail page as well fail.blade.php like this and in case of fail nothing is required just we are going to show the message here instead of home uh, we will make it uh, fail okay uh, looking thanks payment fail like this and here uh, we can simply show your order has been your payment has been failed has been failed okay so here we can uh, I add the message like uh, please please try again after some time and contact us if there is any inquiry okay we can show it like this and this one is not required yet. fine and here uh, this one uh, also yes, nothing will happen and this one grand total and order ID coupon code all we are going to remove okay so uh, make sure here in products controller here like we have the thanks and here also we are required to add the success function as well I, th I think we have not added the success function uh, okay so see here in the case of error uh, we can simply comment this one and we can uh, use that uh, return uh, view current paper fail okay like this okay so uh, we can try here so let's uh, start from the scratch okay so now there must be new uh, thanks page uh, we are going to click on uh, checkout straight away okay so i'm going to make it layout like this and i'm going to select one of the address click on paypal make payment place order check out with paypal so we are going to see whether the order status updated and so so here i'm going to add here uh, that going to use that uh, sandbox account okay so once again this sandbox account with this password uh, okay so i'm going to try with this one login and now we're going to try once again uh, so it will show the paypal page yes it is showing okay so i'm going to make the payment uh, that test payment okay so i'm making the test payment here and okay some error is coming here order okay order see here we need to add the order model uh, in PayPal controller uh, okay so that's why the error is coming see as we are required to update the order table so that's why so we have added the model now now we will continue okay so mail so for sending the mail we need to add uh, that mail function okay so we are going to add this one this mail function here and this mail class okay sorry mail class we are going to add here uh, so now we are going to try once again okay so now uh, i think it will it must work fine so let's see uh, it is taking some time as it is sending the email as well order email is going after making the payment so card model is also required to add we need to add the card model as well Okay, so we will add the card model as well and here uh, so here we have added the card model as well so let's see if this time it will go and go to the success page 
and uh, this time it is gone okay you can see the your payment has been confirmed and we have reached the beautiful thanks paid thanks for making the payment we will process your order very soon your order number is 33 and total amount paid is inr 1300 see we can show in the usd as well okay so we are going to check in the admin as well okay so here you can also show in usd if you want to show okay so now uh, we are going to check this one in uh, in the admin as well so let's see uh, here close orders orders okay so here here see the paid the order status is now paid and we will also check the email okay so for email uh, we will ch check in env uh, where from uh, see mail trap okay we are going to check in mail trap that the email has come up order email must have come up so we are going to check here in the order email uh, that the mail trap that the order email has come up or not we are going to see so we are going to see inbox this time and here you can see just four minutes earlier the new order email has come up okay that is the order number 33 and the uh, you can see the order complete order details is coming up here okay with the delivery address and invoice also so we have got the order email as well after making the payment okay so finally we have completed the paypal and everything is working fine you can see the paid status as well you can see the order email as well you can see the thanks paid as well okay so everything is done as far as the uh, uh the payment is confirmed here, here we need to add the payment okay instead of card uh we can show here the payment okay so uh, here success in success blade file we can show here uh in success your order your payment has been confirmed uh your payment has been confirmed here okay here we can show either thanks or see thanks you already there uh, so we can show here the payment okay uh, this is the last step so that's why see if we will refresh uh, i think it will go to the card page okay so see here it uh, gone away because here uh, when we refresh uh, see uh, it shows the error because we uh, we just forget the session so that's why okay so for that thing uh, we need to add that one uh, like uh, uh, see it is going here so we need to add uh, that like we have added in the thanks like if there is uh, or if there is no order id in session then we will redirect to the card page okay so uh, that thing we need to add here as well uh, we will do this copy this one and here in case of success okay uh so here what we are going to do here we can simply uh add this one not okay and in that case we will redact the user to the card page so that if there is no order id then we will redact the user to the card page okay straight away we will redact the user to the card page okay so here you can see fine so that has been done that's all uh, so we will do something else in the next video. So please stay tuned for that. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye